So we are in San Francisco at Flywheel Coffee, right here in the Haight, right across the street from Golden Gate Park. This is uh, George Bruising News Coffee Reviews. Let's go inside. So as I said, we're here at Flywheel Coffee Roasters. I don't know if you can see the sign over there. That's Ruben, by the way. Hey, Ruben, how you doing? What's up, everybody? Ruben is uh, one of my uh, former boys from uh, Morton's, now working in the restaurant business down. Where are you working these days? I'm working at Alexander Steakhouse. Alexander Steakhouse. So, so if you want a good steak, not cheap, let's be honest, not cheap. I was going to say bring the, bring the bank. Yeah, great wine uh, and good service with Ruben. Uh, by all means, go down there. I'll put a little link in the description box, put a little map maybe up uh, while we're talking. Let them see where you are. And uh, let's go inside. Ruben lives right around here uh, off of Schrader, right? That's correct. Okay, and uh, Ruben introduced me to this place. Actually, I've been here one time before, a couple of years ago during the pandemic, and uh, we're going to review this for you. So let's go. So before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. Uh, that'll keep you up to date with all of our new uh, videos coming down from Bruiser News Coffee Review. Well, that's quite a display case, isn't it? Um, lots of pastries over there, donuts. Um, you can see uh, Flywheel Coffee is in the hate, right across the street from uh, Golden Gate Park. Uh, there's all kinds of uh, tasty treats, coffee beans. You can see it has a nice urban vibe. That's the, uh, that's the park across the street. Um, right there is all the kind of coffee gear. You can pick up a lot of pour over stuff. Uh, don't forget that uh, if you're not in the area and you just want to order that stuff online, go ahead and follow the description. In the description box below, there's some links. Uh, go ahead and click those. Uh, there's a reason why it's called uh, Flywheel Coffee Roasters. It's because there's an actual coffee roasting machine in the building, on the premises. You can smell that coffee as you kind of walk through the place, and then there's a nice outside. Uh, it's a covered patio, so it's really great for San Francisco. You know, probably three seasons you can get out there and get a little fresh air. Uh, that is the Siphon Coffee. Uh, Siphon Coffee, obviously they uh, pour uh, hot water, or water I should say, into that pot and then put the, uh, put the light on. And you can see the procedure there. They're, um, they're gonna fill that with water so that it boils up into that uh, other container and then they'll mix the coffee in. And you can see that's happening right now. And they'll just do a little stir and uh, make everything kind of happen. So that's the Ethiopian blend. How long does that sit in the water? Uh, six or nine. Okay. You know, you don't want it to like come out. You know, you want to like make sure those fruitier flavors are coming through. Um, so I think a minute's probably good. Alright Ruben, so you've already had some of your latte, I know that's your go-to around here, this is your place, like do you go anywhere else locally in the, in the area? Mm, there's a uh, stanza of coffee over on Hay Street, we do some pretty good stuff, uh, other than that, no, this is my go-to spot, cool place, solid, this is your place, right? that's correct. So what do you think of this uh, caramel, Bono. Oh man. I'm normally not a sweets person, but I did really enjoy this one. It wasn't too fluffy, it wasn't too dense, it was very moist, perfect, uh, just the right amount of glaze. So that, I haven't tasted this yet. That blueberry one was good too, so put, put this up in there. That's a lot drier, obviously, than this. It's a blueberry, blueberry crumble, blueberry coffee cake. Oh god, I can feel my mouth right now. <laughs> Oh, this is interesting. What's the flavor? I'm not sure. I think this might be a little bit of bourbon or something. Yeah, there's something in here. I don't know what the flavor is, but it's not a straight donut. It's, it's very good. Actually, the crumble wasn't too bad. However, it could, it could step down on the sugar. It could really taste that brown sugar. You think it's too sweet? For, 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 for me, yes. Too sweet. Don't get very much of the blueberry flavor, though. No, you get a little hints here and there, but it could be a little bit more balanced. 
by the way, this is the Ethiopian blend. You choose the, the blend of coffee that the uh, the type of bean rather that they mix in this. Uh, it's called a crap. Yeah, it's like a it's like a pour over thing, just a little bit more fancy. Uh, so depending, they suggested the the Ethiopian, but you can choose a different coffee. Did you give this a taste? I did. What'd you think? My palate's not sophisticated enough. Smooth though, right? Yeah, I, mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, just I mean, look, it's eight dollars for a cup of coffee. It's a lot of money. But uh, like, if you want the show and everything, like that's pretty cool. Coffee's tasty. I mean, you can get. Like a regular drip coffee that's really good, probably comparable for about half the price. Of this, you know. Yeah, but you know, you really think for the show, and you know, they light it up, and everyone turns their heads. Yeah, you see all the footage I shot. So yeah, I mean, it's I mean, it was it was interesting to watch. And um, if you don't like the flavor of coffee, like if you want something not so bitter, I think that that's that's a good way to go. All right, I got my macchiato here. Pinky out, always. Nice, nice, really nice. <laughs> All right, and this is a cardamom croissant. croissant. Yes. Thank you. Whatever. Croissant. Cardamom croissant. All right, I'm gonna give this a shot here. Okay, it's probably meant to be eaten with your hands. It's definitely meant to be eaten. Pick it up. Flaky. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting like a um, little hints of sweetness. Extremely flaky. A lot of butter. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know how much yeah, butter they put in there. <laughs> I like it. I don't like it. I love it. Love it. <laughs> yeah, but all in all, I'm really pleased with this. Like, if I'm, um, you know, going somewhere, I haven't had breakfast. Happily substitutes this out for something else. This is not a Dunkin' Donuts experience. Come in here, you come out to chill, work, maybe you get a, something good before you have to go to work. Um, it's definitely more of a treat than it is just, hey, I need a cup of coffee for a little bit of that. Or if you're looking for like a great date spot, I mean, this is a cool place. I mean, oh yeah, this is an easy first date where you're not committed to two hours in front of a, you know, in front of a person. Just kind of chat for a little while. Everybody's gonna like everything. I don't think you can order something that's gonna be bad. Here. Um, so yeah, uh, this is a good spot, and they have the outside that we saw before. So if you want to sit outside, do a fresh coat, or you can walk over the park. Yeah, so, too. You can have a coffee, and walk over Golden Gate Park. Yeah, so, out of it. so try your cardamom, right? Wait, what is this? Casa Cara. Casa Cara. Only got it because. Is that tea? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, they have tea here. It's just not really bad. It's really floral, really light. Um, definitely enjoy it. I'm not sure if there's any caffeine in it, but yeah. If you're taking a break from coffee. All right, so we're here from Flywheel. Anything else you want to say about the place, Ruben, before we sign off? I mean, other than uh, grabbing a great cup of coffee uh, and showing through the park, you know, it's right on Heath Street. You can check out uh, Amoeba if you love music. Or if you want to see a freak show, you can walk down Haight. That's it. Yeah, or you can visit his house. No, yeah. don't do that. <laughs> don't just show up on an house. All right, so George, Ruben, Bruce and News Coffee Reviews. We'll see you again next time.